Right, just been to the motoring shop to order up an air filter for the Forester. Just done a, sh a big, well, big service, a service. What, uh, oil and filters. Ooh. Well, we're on the Royal Enfield today, the Interceptor. we'd push out into a different direction for a change. It's quite windy today. Not sure if that will affect the mic. might be the last of the really nice days. We've had two or three days of wonderful weather. very dark here Ooh. It's funny they resurface roads but don't raise up the manhole covers sometimes they all seem a bit ooh, like that one a bit low you get some good views here. A bit misty over in Wales. Right, we can open up a bit now then. There's the Tyndale Monument on the top of that hill. Hope the camera can see it.
Well, they've done a lot of logging up since I was here last. Well, it's nice and quiet the road so I shall stop ah. A little look round. <laughs> Got to blow my nose, actually. That's better. Right. Stop and carry on, as uh, as Steve would say. <laughs> There's the uh, offending bicycle ticking over. It's funny but uh, of the bikes you know this is the one I least like riding which is a bit sad isn't it. I was out on the BSA and uh, I really enjoyed that little run you know even though it was only at 45. Okay Mr Roy Lenfield there you are. Okay. Well, we're on our way to a place called Wooten Under Edge. I assume Edge is the hill that it's under, but uh, people tend to call it Woolen Under Blanket round here. All right, all clear. North Nibley. This is where the monument is to Tyndale up on the hilltop. Poor old Tyndale got burned because he was a bad boy. He translated the Bible into English from Latin and that was a very evil thing to do back in his day. I think that bloke on the quad must be nuts that just went by, no helmet. I don't know if anyone has ridden a quad, but they're a bit odd and they roll easily. I've only ridden one once and that was uh, uh, belonged to a farmer friend was one of those red Hondas. And I rode it on his land and uh, found it very strange because it doesn't lean of course. <coughs> you you have to lean it. <laughs> you know you lean it but the thing just doesn't act like a normal. It doesn't even act like a motorbike and sidecar even. I, I found it very odd. Great for farmers though, they can just pack away stuff in the front and 
and uh, off they go. I suppose he must be long retired now, thinking about it, that was quite a while ago. plow on that tractor, obviously going to do a bit of ploughing, ready for winter wheat. We're, we're following the Cotswold escarpment uh, along at a lower level all the way and to the right it dips down into the uh, Severn Valley, the Triassic, and here we are on the, just on the edge of the Jurassic uh, limestone. All the houses are still made of limestone, look, there's one. Oh, this looks a little bit like the town we're looking for, Wooden Under Edge. Obviously not built for motor cars, was it? The, uh, the houses are pretty much on the road. I wonder what people do to park. Town Centre, Yate and Bristol. Well, they all park on the side of the road, here they all are. Quite an interesting little town this one. Stay there sir, thank you. Oh, diverted traffic. I wonder what that means, I wonder if this road is closed. It's a lovely spire, look at it, a uh, tower rather. Again, mixture of styles, uh, early English decorated with uh, perpendicular crenulations around the building. They used to do that sort of stuff, make it look pretty. 